smoking and inhaling every moment. It was like this in the old days. Hello, welcome to my video. And this video, I would like to talk about and explain and explain it to you about the context. Um, first of all. Uh, I would like to explain the definition of recontext. What is recontext? Recontext is a text which retells events or experiences in the past. Then, what is the purpose? The purpose is uh, either to inform or to entertain the readers. And there is no complications among the participants and that differentiates from native text. Then, a, recont a recount text has orientation, a series of events in chronological order, personal remarks on the events, and a reorientation that rounds off the sequence of events. Let's uh, talk more about the genetic structure the first genetic structure is orientation. Orientation is a background information needed to understand the text, such as who was involved, where it happened, and when it happened. And then the next genetic structure is events. Events is a series of events that ordered in a chronological sequence which is describing series of events that happened in the past. The next one is reorientation. Reorientation is a personal comment about the event or what happens in the end. In this part is the closing of an optional story. Reorientation can contain several lessons, suggestions, or teachings from the other. Then, we're gonna talk about the language, the language features. First, using introdu introducing personal participants, such as I, you, they, we, she, and it. Then, using chronological connection, such as then, first, later, after that, next, finally, and etc. After that, Using linking verb, such as was, where, saw, heard, and others. The next one, action verb, such as look, go, change, sleep, take in another verb. And the last, we use simple past tense. Simple past tense with formula, subject plus verb two, plus object. Next, uh, I'll give you the example uh, with title fishing. The first part of this text is orientation. Yesterday, I was going to the lake. It was a nice time for fishing because I had no work to do. I wake earlier at the morning than I went to the market place to buy some shrimps which I used for fishing bait. After that, I went to the lake to start fishing. That's the orientation part. Next, even. At the lake, I looked for the best point to fish. I went to the place under the big tree at the bank of the lake. I threw my hook as far as I can, then I wait for the fishing for the fish eating my bait. And so on. Um, in this event part, uh, describing series of events that happened in the past. Um, the last part, the reorientation. Even I did not have any fish after that, I was so happy because I could help people. So in this part is the closing of the story uh, that can contain moral lessons. Yep, I think that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.